This might be one of the best games of zombies I've ever had. And I don't mean best as in, oh, I performed really well. You know, I had very minimal downs. I got to a really high round. But just the quality, the twists and turns, I highly recommend you watch this to the end because it was just a roller coaster of emotions. Mob of the Dead, 10 years later. Exactly 10 years ago today, April 16th, 2013, this masterpiece of a map released. So I thought, what better day to play the map than on its anniversary? I can't believe it's a decade old, dude. Oh, and sacrilegious, I didn't even... Oh, I didn't even open the double points. God, just look at how fucking nice this map looks, dude. Like... All the beautiful details. It's such a cool looking prison, really, isn't it? And we're also getting like no zombie spawns. Hello. Oh, here we go. I was going to say, I mean, zombies. This is what we're playing after all. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah. Before our fucking thing resets. Ah, where is it? I'm dumb. There we go. Enter the afterlife. I don't think it's going to restart in time. We'll still probably have two. But we can actually fucking turn on that double points. We've got our acid get kit part is here, but we're going to do a shotguns only challenge today. So right off the bat, where the hell is the Olympia? Isn't it in this room? Oh my god, that was close. Right, give me the Olympia. Fucking hell. Ooh, okay, we're good, we're good. Olympia time, baby. Now, the reason I wanted to do this challenge was because I noticed there was a Remington wall by down in, what was it, the washing machine room? The laundry room. Jesus. Okay, I can I can word. So what we're going to do is, round three, we're going to get this double points. After that, we open up whatever area next. I mean, I guess we'll just go this way. Probably the best way. It's melee's in. Oh, God. Let's, uh, oh, let's not be greedy. Oh, my God. And we got a nuke. I... Of course, we get a nuke when I want to use this double points efficiently. You know what? <laughs> oh, never mind, dude. Let's just go open this fucking door. Oh my god, like just the lighting and everything. Such a nostalgic map to be playing again. We've got another double points right here, so it's not the end of the world anyway. Uh, the key is not right here. Tragic, because that would have been very useful. We can still open up down here to get to our second gun, though. So, I mean, we'll do that in a second. We've got an insta-kill. Not bad. I mean, it's not the most useful thing in the world, but like a one shot, all three of them gone. Okay, maybe I was maybe I was wrong. All right, let's go into afterlife. So to open up this thing, or we have to go all the way like down here, right? Go zap this, boom, boom, boom. And while we're at it, let's move out the way, fucking zombies. Let's turn on this double points, of course. Hello, Remington Wallby. Let's go. So this is gonna be our main weapon for the game. It's not the it's, okay. I was gonna say it's not a bad shotgun, but then I just like. <laughs> Struggled to one-shot a zombie point blank. Um, yeah, if you're accurate with it, it is very strong. And just being able to buy ammo for it is going to be very useful too. We've got the Warden's Key needed right here. Which, um, that's going to be a bit of a challenge. We've got to open up all the way to the other side of the map first. Boom, over here. Let's just go ahead and activate this right now. Make sure we have our shotgun out for when we respawn. All right, jump up, zap this. That's the key done. Now we're going to go open this door. Now, I want to actually... Normally, I don't like to turn on the perks because if you go all the way to pack a punch it will actually turn them all on for you but speed cola is going to be kind of essential not going to lie with how slow the fucking reload actually is on these guns and if we could get i think isn't the ksg in the box or am i thinking origins maybe i'm thinking origins i've got a part in that corner that would be nice we're in a really 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 bad situation right now because look at where we are oh shit Get them all in the corner. Oh, God. Move out the way. Okay, we're just fucked. We're just fucked. <laughs> nah, there's too many in that room. There was no way. It's fine, though. We just got to zap them all, get them away. And then we go for the revive. Right, let's buy speed cola immediately. This is my strap. Because now... Bang. Bang. Why, what's his music playing? Oh, the speed cola music. Creepy. Yeah, now we feel much better. A max ammo too. I'll take it. All right, one zombie left. I mean, we have our... All right, here we go. Part here. We've got the box. I don't know what other shotguns are in the box. I forget. The S12, I think, is in there. Let's go pick up our warden's key. I've been watching Walking Dead again, and just... Oh my god, like, it looks so similar, the prison arc, compared to, obviously, Mob of the Dead. And, you know, the Warden's Key looks exactly the same as the Warden's Key in the game, which is I thought was a pretty neat feature. Not having Jug is kind of scary. We can open up this. I was going to turn on the washing machine, but it's going to spawn in a Brutus if we do this on this round. Oh, and I've got hiccups now. Cool. Oh my god, two shots didn't kill. Oh, and I get a nuke. <laughs> Amazing, nice. Still a nice one-shot headshot, which is good. Oh, hello, almost coming down. Jesus, 
How many shots did that take? Right, we're on the last zombie. We have two afterlives. I mean, do we have a, we can either save them or we can try and do something. Honestly, I think we save them because well, hello, hello. Like, this Remington is so inconsistent, but I want to use this double points this round. I mean, I know there's a strat you can use the washing machine with the double points, and you can get, like, a load of points early on. But since it's round seven now, it's uh, a little bit too late, to be honest. Okay, here we go. Double points. Go oh, on, this fucking... Yeah, you have to aim with the gun. That's the problem. If you don't aim... <laughs> Ooh, and if you just walk into like 50 billion zombies as well, it's probably going to be an issue. Ah, insta-kill. Finally, the only time it's going to be reliable. Oh yeah, we have so many points now. I think we can probably get Jug this round. Oh, and a max ammo. That's amazing because I was going to have to go buy ammo in a, in a second. Right, how many are left? Just for two? Because I kind of want to leave two. Okay, dude. Here we go. Fucking Christ. We've got the dog there. We can obviously fill that up whenever. Our acid get kit part is right here. We want to go upstairs towards the gondola. Boom. And where is the afterlife thing? We want to zap the gondola. We're going to take this. I learned this strat from somebody because it just means you can get Jug earlier on. The gondola is now turned on. And here we go. 750. Off we go, dude. Now we have Jug. I am just feeling way safer. Obviously, we've got to go turn it on as well, but it's fine. All right, it's afterlife. And we can actually go get one of our parts as well. All right, zap you. And where is it? It's all the way down here. Oh, I failed my jump. We There we go. Jump over. Never mind. We don't have that fucking unlocked yet. I forgot you need to use the goddamn key. Uh, we can turn on the trap. I forget how you do that, but whatever. All right, give me Jug. <laughs> Finally, I feel safe, dude. Oh, I just realized we could have fed those to the dog. Whatever, man. It's, it's fine. Shield part. Uh, it's not here. Tucked away in this corner somewhere? No. I oh, was all the way back here. There's a bunch of different spawns. Yeah, there we go. Double tap would be kind of nice, honestly, to be able to reliably get some kills. So difficult actually playing this like with just shotguns and doing it the regular way instead of like plutonium cold war mod or anything. It's good old fashioned mob of the deading. Okay, we're going to have to train here. I mean, worst case, if we think we're going to die, we can just go into afterlife so we keep our perks, you know, because it's not a bad strat. Oh God, zombies dropping on my face. Oh my God. Somehow not dying there. There are so many right now. Maybe we have to kill a few just to thin out the uh, the horde. All right, here we go. Double Olympia to the face. Okay, that actually did it. Nice. Oh, God, I got double back on myself. Oh, my God, I didn't go down there. That was one of the closest clutches I've had in a while. I think we're almost close to filling this bad boy up. Oh, God, move, 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 move. Trying to use the Olympia so we can save our Remington ammo. Okay, this dog probably needs, like, I want to say, like, one more kill. I mean, I'm kind of impressed that the Olympia is actually, uh, actually managing to kill on this round. There we go, done. Um, I kind of want to go that way to go and get the shield part, because not having a shield as well is a bit scary. Oh, watch my points just disappear. 1,500. <laughs> That's tragic. Uh, where is the shield part? Here it is. And we've got a door here. Oh my god, another one. And then there's a part here, which, great, but then there's another door around there. So, um, we want to build the shield probably back at the cafeteria. That would be the smart play, since it's the best, like, training spot. We can also turn this on so we get that unlocked. Let's quickly go and do the machines as well. So if we go in here, there's one we have to zap right here. Boom. This is just to get the packet punch on, by the way. All this setup, fucking Christ. But it's nice, because... The reason I love Mob of the Dead, everything ties into the story, you know? Okay, I'm gonna have to run out immediately. Uh, ooh, that was close. Like, building the plane to get the packet punch and stuff, all of it is story-based, you know, it's part of the main easter egg anyway, which I love because it actually ties in, you know, you know, there's a reason to why you're doing things. Oh, you actually made that? Holy shit. Hallelujah, dude. We don't even have the cafeteria open to build the shield. Oh, I just remembered. It's fine. We're making progress. Let's drop down and feed this dog real quick. Remember, you can always throw your grenades down here to get some extra points. I think it's 20 for each grenade, which is nice. All right, here's one kill. Yeah, Speed Cola was definitely the correct purchase, not going to lie. Next one. Oh, a double points. I'll take it. There was quite a few zombies, so I'll just have to wait for them to come back, I guess. Oh, never mind. It, that, it was just those three and the round ended, so... Oh, we need, like, legit one more zombie as well. Do I greet it? Do I stay around? Here we go. Okay, now we run. Now we run. Now we fucking run for our lives, dude. Oh, we've got a warden spawning! Oh, great, dude. All right. Shotgun to the face. Shotgun to the face. Shotgun to the face. Shotgun to the face. Insta- I actually got him. Wow. Thank God for shotguns. <laughs> 
I'll be honest, I really wasn't expecting to be able to kill him then. I was pleasantly surprised. So, hey, thank God. Now we open this door. We can craft our shield. And finally, I just feel a little bit safer. Well, we just got a Brutus, so we shouldn't get another one. This is the last zombie, but... If we go and do this, are we going to get another one? I guess there's only one way to find out. Washing machine time. It should spawn us in a lot more zombies, though, which is the actual benefit. Because we just want to get points, you know? So, yeah, here we go. We've got one zombie, two zombie. To kill both of you. Olympia to the face. Okay, he's not dying. Cool. Olympia's actually putting in kind of work here. Oh, God. We're... This is a tight train. How many zombies are spawning in, dude? I've got to try and make a run for it. This is getting too tight. Oh, here we go. Uh, no, 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 no. Fucking hell, dude. There was one zombie in the way. I almost made it. Well, oh, this is it. Make or break. Oh, here we go. And I can't fucking get out of the door again. And I don't have speed cola this time. I'll try and train up again. This time be a bit more careful. Oh, there we go. But now we've lost Jug and we have no afterlives. So I'd say it's probably not ideal. Like, what do we do here, bro? Do we go back and go get Jug? I mean, I guess we have to. Like, what else can we do? Did we even finish the dog? We didn't. Bill 750, thankfully. But now we're stuck here because we can't even afford to get the gondola back up. So amazing. Oh, and the round just randomly ended too. Also amazing. I might as well have just fed the dog a bit more. This is going to be ridiculous. We have to just sit on the gondola. Okay, it's, it's charged again. We just need 750 points. That's all we need. I've never struggled this much on a zombies map, bro. When did mob get so fucking difficult? I mean, I guess, you know, we're not using all these great one, like, weapons on the walls and shit, you know? All right, get on the gondola, get on the gondola, get on the gondola, get off the gondola. Holy shit, that was close. Oh my god, well, the cafeteria is open now. We can actually go and train in there. There we go. Oh, now I've got to go through here, please. There we go. Yep, I heard it. It's complete. We did that dog, finally. What a world we live in where the Olympia seems to be almost reliably, like, two-shotting more than the fucking Remington is. Like, I never thought this was going to be easy, don't get me wrong, but... I think Double Tap is going to be our next purchase. I mean, obviously, we need Speed Cola again, but... Well, Double Points is definitely going to help. That's huge. I'm going to have to go and buy ammo because we're running really low. How much is it? It's like 600, right? Yeah. It's fine. We just need, like, one more round of training here, and we should be okay. Right, training. We just we gotta be we gotta be really careful here. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. It's as simple as not getting stuck, dude. The trick to training is just waiting until every single zombie is spawned in and then only killing a couple. Because if you kill too many, then they'll all just spawn in uh, like random barriers and screw up your train. So like every single zombie, I'm pretty sure, has spawned in now. We'll just shoot into this horde. Only kill a couple so we're not getting overwhelmed from behind. Like here, you know, we've got a couple zombies spawning just randomly there. That could have been the death of us if we weren't paying attention. Got a nice 5,000 points now. What was that drop? We've got something. Ah, a max ammo. Pretty useful, actually. Oh, we got a double points. Okay, okay, okay. Well, if we can finish off this round with the double points, that would be nice. Okay, now we have literally just one zombie left. So, okay, what we want to do is we want to go down here. Make sure he's following. And we're going to go grab Double Tap. Oh, we've got another Remington Warby over here. Wait, two of them, huh? Kind of close by as well, not going to lie. But there we go. Double Tap. The this is going to literally save our asses. And just to get to Speed Cola quicker, I'm going to go this way. Otherwise, oh my god, never mind. We don't have enough for Speed Cola anymore. Oh, brilliant, because every door on this map is just fucking expensive as shit. That's fine. I'm going to buy ammo then, because I'm not, I'm not taking any chances. So now we get back to the cafeteria. Oh, we're going to pick up this part as well. We go train in here, and we also pick up a shield again. So, is this a one-shot? Yes, it is. Thank god exactly what we need right now. We can't go that way. Jesus, there's a lot of zombies that way. Getting all our perks sorted is probably going to be more essential right now than actually getting Pack-A-Punch, so that's why I'm a little bit slow on the parts. By the way, since this is obviously the decade anniversary of Mob of the Dead, I want to say that the Mob of the Dead intro cutscene is my absolute favorite in the entire Call of Duty Zombies franchise. And Blood of the Dead's intro cutscene is probably like a close second, which is ironic because obviously we all know Blood didn't really do Mob of the Dead like how it was supposed to. It was a little bit of a disappointment, right? But God, COD Zombies, you know, Treyarch always knew how to make amazing cutscenes. And that's why it was a bit disappointing in Black Ops 4, you know, the latter half of the maps really just didn't have any cutscenes at all. They were all like the little comic strip things, which, okay, fair enough, but eh, could have been so much better, you know? I'm going to take the rest of these on a little trip. 
because we want to go by speed cola. And we can start feeding that other dog as well. They're all like clumped on top of each other. Weird little Black Ops 2 uh, feature. Get this speed cola. This is the only downside to Black Ops 2 is the fact that zombies just despawn very, very easily if they've been damaged or anything. Like they, on Black Ops 3, I'm pretty sure they like almost always respawn, which is nice. Also, I think opening this door was a little bit uh, sketch because it makes training a little bit more difficult now, but whatever. I don't think it changes it enough to make it impossible, you know. Uh, acid gap part is probably somewhere, I don't know. Open this, get one kill, start the dog. Use our Olympia a little bit. How's it doing? One shot? Hey, there we go. What's this on the wall? Oh, it's another Uzi. Sad, I was hoping it'd be something actually like kind of useful. Oh God, Ooh, almost got myself stuck. I mean, are we counting the Blundergat as a shotgun? Honestly, I will. I'll count the Blundergat as a shotgun, but only the base version, not the acid gat, because that would be broken, you know? It's like a fucking monkey bomb gun, bro. I should have probably bought more ammo before this round, but it's fine, you know, hindsight is 2020, 2023. I don't know how that saying goes, dude. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Not having stamina up is also really, really scary on this map because I think it's the only map in Black Ops 2 that doesn't have it, isn't it? Oh no, never mind. Nuketown also doesn't have it. All right, let's take these zombies up to the dog. Let's see if we can actually finish it. All right, kill you, there we go. Oh god, poop back. Oh, that killed me. That was very fast. I think the dog actually cock blocked me, but hey, at least on the bright side, we finished it and we can go and fucking open up this roof. Like it's not, it's not the worst, but it's really not ideal. Oh, why are there two there? Oh my god almighty. Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I guess I zapped them into that room. Fucking hell. Okay, anyway. Back on the back on the goddamn gondola, dude. All of that was just to get the Hell's Retriever, but hey, we've got all of our parts done. And when we go back down and get Jug, we can go and grab this last part, which is nice. Uh, assuming that the round doesn't randomly just end because all those zombies are damaged. Oh, never mind. Oh, just oh, the round just randomly ended. Oh, shocker, dude. Who saw that coming? Never mind then, I'm not- I can't get the part, dude. It's gonna be too risky. At least this is back up immediately and we actually have points this time. This is like such a stressful challenge, dude. Oh my god. All right, here we go. Let's go back to the cafeteria. I don't even have much Remington ammo left, bro. And we don't have double tap. Ugh, this is gonna be tragic. We might have to honestly- Oh, here we go. And we haven't got double tap to fucking deal with Brutus. This is gonna be tragic. Oh, my shield? No, my shield's fine. Oh, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Oh, there goes my shield. Oh, there goes my shield. Oh, and I can't get a new one because he just locked it. Oh, sick, dude. It's fine, I didn't want to exist anyway. Okay, I got his helmet off. That's a start. Oh, and there's all the fucking smoke. Oh, now I'm down to an Olympia. Oh, boy, that's great, really, isn't it? Can't see shit because there's fucking smoke as well. Oh, just give me another shield, just in case. Don't smash my goddamn shield again, please. I'm stuck on something! What did I even get stuck on, dude? Ah, and then he just locked the shield again. Well, that's fucking tragic, really, isn't it? Oh, and I've got to reload. Ah, nice. Oh, and he respawned. Olympia! Nope. Oh my god. Oh, this is so fucking tragic. I can't even afford the acid trap. What has happened? This game has just gone downhill in the last, like, fucking five minutes. How about of Olympia ammo? Oh, oh, that's just sick, isn't it? Okay, I can actually afford the acid trap now. Where is it? Give me... Bye-bye, bitches. It, it didn't kill him. Are you serious? Oh, don't worry. It's fine. I have the uh, the Remington now. I can actually kill him. Totally. Yeah. Oh, never mind. I'm stuck. Never mind. I'm fine. I'm good. I'm a god. I'm great. Move out the way, please. Well, there goes my shield. Oh, I'll just go pick it up again. Oh, wait. 2,000 points again. Oh, my God. I'm, this is torture. I, I just wanted to celebrate 10 years of Mob of the Dead. I mean, maybe this nuke will help. It's not going to help my points, though, is it? Oh, and we get a max ammo right after I buy it. Oh. Typical. Typical. Ah, oh, the zombies have me stuck. Cool. Can I move? There we go. Managed to somehow survive that round and the Br Brutus is gone. Okay, but now what, dude? I've spent so much going back and getting joke, going back and getting joke. Like, can I at least build the plane, maybe? That would be nice. That would be real nice if I could just do that, you know? I can't even get a fucking shield anymore, man. I'm being taxed by a fucking warden. Oh, time to use my really bad weapon. 
God, I'm loving how little damage this is doing. You know, my dumbass was watching Breaking Bad and thought that fucking Bill Burr was Weasel's voice. It's it's not the same voice, but like they just, they have similar mannerisms, I think. Assumed it was, but it wasn't. 50 billion shots later of me not killing the zombies? Pretty sure they're despawning faster than I can kill them. This is, <laughs> this is so tragic. Oh, we've got a drop of some kind. A max ammo. Well, I mean, kind of helpful, I guess. Oh, these fucking crawlers are going to get me killed. What if I just get it? Oh my God. Oh, we got a double points right at the end of the round. If I manage to somehow pull this off, this is the greatest comeback of all time. Seriously. Like, well, we have 6,000 points. So, what do we do? We've got a walking zombie that's probably going to despawn as soon as I leave this fucking room. I guess I'll just, I'll run this way. Whoa, we can buy speed cola. I can go buy jug now. I mean, oh, honestly, I should have bought double tap, not speed cola, but like the reload's pretty annoying though. If we go this way, oh, this door's 2,000. We're not going to be able to afford jug, but we can get the last plane part. Ah, uh, fuck. I've got to go gondola again, man. I've got to go gondola. Just the second I get on this, it's fucking despawn the zombies again. Why do they do it every time? And then I need another like 300 points to be able to leave. So I'm being held hostage, bro. Like, yep, there we go. Right on cue. The round fucking ended. Oh, can I at least like rebuild some barriers, I guess? Dude, the perk jingles are actually creepy as fuck on Mob of the Dead. Like they're all redone to be creepy as shit. All right, come on. I've got to get some kills. There we go. Take me back, dude. Just take me back. I'll, I'll throw some fucking grenades, dude. Whatever. I've had four downs. You know, technically this game should have been over, but we managed to uh, clutch it out. It's the problem with shotguns, though, is they do, like, no damage, which means we get, like, no points. If this was Cold War, then, you know, because of the system, we'd be getting quite a lot of points right now. I guess at least we have Jug, but I still, I still need to get that fucking shield back, which is going to cost me 2,000, and then double taps 2,000. This ain't how it ends, I know that for sure. He keeps saying, this ain't how it ends, I know that for sure, and I'm like, honestly pulling a, a kind of neat comeback, if I can somehow manage this. We'll see, dude. I'm not going to get my hopes up, but at least we can actually kind of shoot more now with speed cola. Oh, we have an insta-kill. That's actually going to be good. Yeah, insta-kill Olympia, putting in some work. All right, I'm, try I'm not trying to end the round. I'm going to melee one of these zombies and it's going to give me a fucking nuke, isn't it? We've got a couple zombies and I think we have enough to go and actually get the last part. <gasps> oh my god. Also, I just realized we've got the Hell's Retriever. We haven't even picked it up yet. Uh, we got something extra. I mean, nice. We have about three zombies and none of which I have shot. So if they die, I don't fucking know, bro. Uh, four zombies. So yeah, if they just go, then I don't know, bro. I don't know. All right, let's activate this. Please tell me the door down here is not 1500. Please tell me it's a thousand. Otherwise, I can't fucking do it. Five, one, I'm an idiot. Four, but I don't have this. Oh my God, I'm gonna kill something in game. Holy shit. So now I have to revive myself. Go down to the bottom, open it, and just do that again. Oh, I'm sick, dude. I mean, at least this way I can actually open up this door and see how much it is. Oh, it's a thousand. Thank God. Okay, good. Open. Now we can do the fucking step. Here's where I get stuck on the goddamn stairs. No, we're good. Okay, afterlife. Please tell me I can use it again. Okay, good. Wasted an afterlife, but whatever. It's fine. Not like I needed it anyway. Five. One. Oh, okay, that's it. We've got to go revive ourselves. And we have a short amount of time to go down there and pick up that goddamn part. Give me the fucking thing. Yes, we've got all five. Oh, get me out before they come. Yeah, there we go. Now, all we have to do is just circle these zombies around. We don't have a shield, but we can now craft the plane. Oh my God, this whole thing of like doing the map is all done. Finally. How could I play mob 10 years later and not craft the plane, you know? At least get to the packet punch. Oh, and also, you know, get the uh, the Hell's Retriever. Trouble is, when we go there, we're going to have to, like, I guess we'll just use the Hell's Retriever because <laughs> we can't use our shotguns to kill the fucking Brutus if it's spawning. Oh, we can actually do the free Blundergat thing. I just realized that. Would it be worth to do that now? I think it would. But then, oh, but what if it despawns? You know, we've got one skull here. I'd have to go all the way around the map, man. Plane is crafted, though. Oh, I'm going to go get it. I'll skip forward to when I actually go grab it. All right, next skull done. This one was always really finicky and I'm doing it with fucking four zombies around. My God, I'm getting stuck on nothing. Dude, if I had down there, I would have freaked out very hard. Oh my god, I finally I fucking got it, dude. Oh, Jesus. All right, got that one. Oh my god, I'm almost going down again. Jesus. I'm not stupid, I swear. It's like right there, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. 
Oh, God. And I'm going to fucking down. <laughs> I hate my life so much. Oh, my God. Just give me this fucking blunder get now. I've got nothing, bro. I'm just going. I'm just going all that for the fucking blunder get, dude. I don't care. Take me. Take me to the fucking plane. I am not dying without going on the plane once. That would just be absurd. I could have done this so much sooner, honestly. I've been so inefficient this entire run. I'm just... I, I don't know, man. I'm, like, tired. I'm, my brain is not working properly. You can probably tell. Get me on, dude. Get me on. Get me on here. Oh, classic. Gotta throw the uh, the tomahawk behind. Hey, look at it. It just, like, swings. That's quite cool. Uh, yep. No jug. No afterlife. Well, this is gonna be interesting, isn't it? Hi, Pack-a-Punch machine. Oh, we finally meet, huh? Jesus. It only took all the entire game. Uh, random red texture glitch up there. Love it. Honestly, that sound effect, that was in Nuketown Zombies, right? Where's the fucking Brutus? Oh yeah, what's up, dude? I do not want to stupidly down, but hey, I do not have the fucking... You know what? Screw the whole Tomahawk only thing. Get blundergathered, pussy. Oh, a double points? Not bad. We can go back, but like, I'll stay here, bro. Why not? Where is this bitch? Oh, there's one right behind me. Hi. Of course there has to be one right behind me. Why not? There's one. We got 3,000 points now. Can we somehow clutch this? There's no way, dude. Have you seen how many fucking zombies there are? This is, this entire game has just been like feels like a campaign story or some shit, you know? It just it doesn't feel real. Oh no, that's we can pack a punch. <laughs> oh my god, what's going on, dude? This is this just is Mob of the Dead in a nutshell. Just a masterpiece, but so confusingly like good. I don't know. Let's pack a punch. Good god. Now please let me go pick it back up. That would just be a crime if we couldn't oh, okay i'll take the down i got it i got it i got it i got it i knew it was gonna happen i knew it i knew it this game it hates me what is going on we have the fucking like what's it called the sweeper honestly i never use the sweeper but i kind of love it like the acid gets great but it stops one-shotting after a while and it gets pretty boring to use not gonna lie but what we're just gonna stay here until we get the points to go back i guess like what even is this game, bro? I've been recording for an hour and ten minutes. Well, I mean, we are we are now on round 18. We have a pack of punch to blunder get. A few rounds ago, we were screwed. Um, oh, hi. Ah, ooh, ah, ooh, oh my god. We're not dead. We're not dead. We're not dead. I just, like, I, I was so scared, I didn't even, like, say words when I was screaming. Oh my god. Come on, sweeper. You can do this shit. Oh, there we go. Any more? No, they're all gone. Oh my god, dude. Oh, I've got to run through the fucking smoke. This is dangerous. Oh, these fucking crawlers. We can afford another Pack-a-Punch. I mean, it's that or we go back and get perks. Do we just cut our losses and not Pack-a-Punch the Remington and go back and get perks? I think, honestly, that's the play. Dude, I don't even have words. I don't have words for this game. I do not. I don't. Like, it's just been such a roller coaster of emotions. Like, the entire time. I didn't go for the Hell's Redeemer upgrade thing because, like, I just thought, bro, if we weren't using the Blundergat there, we would have probably died. So, the fact we got hit by Brutus and didn't get one shot, that was a miracle to me. We might actually be able to get our fourth perk, which was gonna be Electric Cherry, obviously. Like, we're not gonna fucking buy Deadshot. Not on PC, anyway. Here we go, dude. We can finally... Jug is back. Oh, Christ above. You're so much better. Are you the last zombie? Oh, no, there's a couple. Yeah, we can literally afford Speed Cola and Electric Cherry. We can afford both of them. We have the exact amount. <laughs> this game. This game. This is gonna be a bitch to edit because this is like probably gonna be an hour and a half or something, but fucking hell. I'm gonna say it's so worth it. I forgot how many points they actually give you, the fucking Brutuses. There we go. Now we have 2,000. Well, we can actually, we can either get the shield or we can get Electric Cherry. I think it'd be smart to get the shield because the shield is gonna like really save us in some clutch situations. Oh, go on then. I was just gonna say to myself, spawn a Brutus, dude. Spawn one. Spawn one. I don't care. Yeah, lock the fucking the shield again for the 50 billionth time. Do it. That's all you like to do, bro. This is literally like one-shotting full hordes. Dude, the Blunder Gap Packet Punched is amazing. Like, not even just the Acid Gap. The Acid Gap is great, but there we go. Bye-bye. Oh, get out the way. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, 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 no. There is no way. There is no fucking way, dude. I don't know. 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 I, I've lost words at this point, and that's the round. <laughs> this is risky, but I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go get electric cherry. I think we can do it. We now have three afterlives, so we grab electric cherry. We run over here. 
drop down. I fucked it up. I was supposed to drop down over this side, whatever. We've got all four perks now. Electric Cherry is so good with the Blunder Get as well, because obviously, like, every time you have to reload, it'll deal more damage, because that's how Electric Cherry's damage is worked, like, based. I don't know. Words? I don't fucking know, bro. It is more damage the less ammo you have in the clip, so obviously if it's empty, it's gonna do more damage. Oh god, well, there goes my shield. Good thing I just paid for this, because we would have been a bit doomed. Oh, shit. Like, that entire horde that I just shot into was just obliterated. And then we got Crawler, get Hell's Retrievered. We've got so many walking zombies now. It's interesting because we didn't have any walking zombies before. I wonder if they only start spawning after you've gone on the plane, which is a really weird thing if that is the case. Maybe it's a glitch, unintentional glitch, but who knows? Line up all of them, shot, boom. A max ammo. Oh my god, I was running a bit low on Blunder Get as well. Thank God. Well, whenever we want, we can get those parts, go pack a punch, go stand on the fucking bridge again. There were so many times that, like, I genuinely thought this fucking, like, uh, I thought this game was completely just over. Oh, God, speaking of which, let's um, be careful. Just two shot, boom, boom. Yeah, you're all gone. That's so absurdly broken. I'm, honestly, I might not get the acid get again. This is, like... This is great. If you're playing like with two people, then I think one person has to get the acid get because it's just like, it's too OP not to get. Being a little bit reckless, but it doesn't matter because apparently we're just like a bit of a legend. Just like the way that it fucking, you could be so far away and it'll still just like all in a row, all those zombies just got obliterated. Like that. Just, oh, don't even stand a chance. All right, I've gone and picked up all of the fuel canisters. I mean, we didn't have to. But I kind of want to go back to the pack punch area and we just survive until, who knows, whatever happens. Just stay on the bridge as long as possible. That's a good way to end this video, I think. All right, refuel the goddamn plane. Off we go. We can actually go pack a punch as well. Bye bye, zombie. End the round. Oh, the round doesn't end if you do that. Interesting. Oh shit. It's crashing again? No way, dude. It's not like that happened the last time. All right, there we go. Pack a punch that Remington. <laughs> Took long enough. The refitted 870 mechanical cranium se sequencer? Oh my god, that lame. How many does it reload at a time? Still one. It's tragic. You can repack a punch it though. I mean, what, I get a target finder on it? Oh, we got a red dot. Oh, that's kind of cool. I mean, sure, dude, why not? Let's try out the Remington a little bit. Come on. Spawn in the fucking Brutus, dude. Do it. Get out of the way. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, five shot him. And that was without aiming, so if we try while aiming, let's see how that does. Here we go. One, two. Yeah, that just two shot him. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's, see what I mean? Remington's just inconsistent. And back to the sweeper. I keep messing up the name. I keep trying to call it the street sweeper. I'm thinking of fucking Cold War shotguns, dude. Try not to waste too much ammo since obviously have to be a little bit scarce. I don't think you get drops on the bridge, if I remember correctly, because it was like the way of nerfing it. Unless I'm talking out my ass, you know. We'll find out in a second, I suppose. See, it's still not even like properly one-shotting the man. Like, if you aim, it will, but... Ugh, this, this shotgun is so mediocre. I should have packet punched the Olympia, honestly. Like... Underrated Olympia enjoyer, maybe? I don't know. I was certainly impressed with it today, that's for sure. Oh god, here we go with the Brutus. Come on, man. Try me. One shot headshot, bro. Yeah, nice try. And again, one shot headshot. Oh, another one. Come on. Bada bing, bada boom. That's the thing, when you just have like an OP gun like that. I mean, that's another reason why the sweep is better than the acid get, because the acid get isn't the best for dealing with Brutus. Like you can attach the uh, the things to him, but it takes a while to actually kill him. <laughs> the crawler was like floating. That was weird. Come on, try me, bitch. Yeah, I'm not getting any drops. So I'm pretty sure I was right when saying like, you just don't get any on the bridge. Sort of the nerf for it, I guess. So I guess, yeah, we'll just keep playing until we run out of ammo or we have a stupid death. But then again, we've got three afterlifes. So <laughs> this has got to be the greatest comeback I've had in a very long time playing zombies. Like, holy shit. I mean, I, I'm, I like to think I'm a good player. But, you know, everyone experiences some bullshit now and again. God, my screen is just ooh, shaking and shaking and shaking. Yeah, we're not getting any drops from the Brutuses either. Train's getting a little bit hectic. It's because of these stupid walking zombies, honestly. They're screwing me over. Bro, can you relax, dude? Relax, relax. All right, let me get this one and then trick shot. No? Sometimes it doesn't come back. It's weird. All right, here we go. 
Quick shot. Nice. Ooh, that is gross. <laughs> Kaboom. I just hope I can make this to round 30. There's no way, dude. I think, isn't there a way you can get two blunder gets in actual Mob of the Dead? I forget how to do it. I mean, I know you can, like, pick one up. If you have an acid get, you can also have a sweeper, maybe? Because they're two separate, like, guns, so they don't glitch out your loadout. That could be quite interesting to do. You get the free one, and then you have to get the one out of the box first, I imagine. Oh, there goes my shield. Well, shit. Ah, oh, I got my upgrade for the tomahawk, finally. <laughs> That's funny, because I wasn't even intentionally going for it. I forget, you don't have to get, like, tomahawk-only rounds. You just have to get kills with the tomahawk. Like... For well, the longest time I thought that. I'm so stupid. Because yeah, that noise, if you don't know, basically just signals that we've done it. Ooh, there we go. Round 28. I think this is going to be our last round because we're out of ammo. <laughs> we're basically out. And we're going to use quite a few shots here to deal with the stupid Brutuses. I guess we'll try the Hell's Retriever. I missed. Nice. That, that's just a, a great start, honestly. Oh, ooh, and I'm standing still. I was trying to fucking throw the Tomahawk at him. My screen. I'm going to be sick. Jesus Christ. See if we can multi one shot. Almost. Oh yeah, we're shredding them. Now, can we get through the round with only these? This is gonna be difficult. Oh, well, I'm down to my last two shots, so I'm gonna have to run a really tight train, get all the zombies on top of each other and try to just like shoot them all at once. Which doing that alone probably will get me killed, but we'll see. That's one shot. Oh shit, okay, that's not good. <laughs> Six, nine points, and that's when we end it. Because, yeah, I don't think there's going to be anything we can really do here. It's cool being on the bridge in Afterlife, you know, it's not often you get to do that. I'll revive myself just for the stats, but yeah, last shot. No, never mind, last shot's gone. Leave game. I hope you guys have enjoyed, though. If you have, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out this video on screen, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.